Welcome back! And we are trying to help out this frustrating old man spirit thing. He likes to sit underneath waterfalls that look like running noses. While we jump off cliffs and die. Over and over again. So sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird, weirder than usual for the next couple of videos because I've had a cold lately. I don't know, it might sound better. Although <laughs> that nose waterfall does remind me, like, you know when you're sick and your nose is all stopped up, how like, sometimes one nostril is stopped up and the other one isn't? Yeah. Reminds me of that, so... I love how I continuously fall to my doom. <coughs> See, I'm coughing. Uh, see what I do for you, my fans? I record even when I shouldn't be. I hate this old man spirit. It's kind of grouchy. That's the second spirit we found. Now this section over here um, is where um, the guys with the Tengu head appear if you found them in the other locations first. But as I've said before, since I want to show you the final boss at full power, uh, I have not found these people. I'm gonna play as Abyssumaru here some, since I haven't shown him any love lately. So, play with him for a while. Sorry if you can hear my coughing, I am not going to try editing that out. Um, I think Abyssu Mario is actually probably the better close range fighter. I don't know. Him and going. Elephant. I've almost found all the elephants. Just a few more. <laughs> it's the third spirit. <laughs> I should not try to be... Mm. I'm sorry if you hear me drinking water, hacking, and coughing. But I gotta get these recordings done, so... There's the third spirit. Busy Mario sure can. <coughs> is not very strong. Um, but yet his uh, close range attack is pretty good. So I guess Goemon's kind of balanced. Busy Mario's close combat. 
Guy's best at long range. Sus Sasuke is quick and nimble. We've talked about that before, but after playing again for a bit. Fourth spirit. This guy is funny. Because he talks in Japanese emoticons. Which is really awesome. Now for this mini game, you'll see that um, I'm using save states. Wow, this mini game is ridiculously hard on an emulator. It took me about about ten minutes to beat it. Uh, about five or six different tries. On the DS, it's not too hard because you can move the stylus really quickly. But trying to play this on an emulator using a mouse. It's like crazy hard, so beware if you play this on emulator. But it's basically whack-a-mole with an old man jumping out of the dirt, which is really weird when I stop and think about it. You have to get at least 80 points to uh, beat the game. cutscene. I don't... <coughs> sorry. I don't know exactly what's going on or what they're saying, but um, they start talking in Japanese emoticons, which are so awesome. Apparently Sasuke, Ibisumaru, and Yai know how to, to do this. Goemon, on the other hand, is not too good at it. <laughs> he gets a little bit frustrated. So poor Goemon doesn't know how to make emoticons. <laughs> I think he was trying there and he failed. Placing giant bombs in the middle of nowhere. What the heck? <coughs> oh, I hate being sick. Especially in the winter time. My emulator started speeding up here. Like music and everything. It's really weird. I do not know why. This is kind of 
kind of annoying little thing. You just gotta get the bomb inside of there. Or not get hit by the fire. Which is actually easier said than done. Do it like six times. Let's see, that's three. Four. Mario makes funny noises when he's hit. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, and we will get the last spirit uh, in the next video, because it's probably the hardest to get. Alright, see you next time.